today I am joined by Lyra Aransanendi. I'm very, I'm very um, sorry for the pronunciation. This is a beautiful Basque name, but I'm, I'm butchering it on you. Um, but uh, Lyra is a senior researcher at ASTI, and she's also the project coordinator for BioGears, which is a project looking to develop bio-based growth for use within the aquaculture sector in Europe. So Lyra, thank you very much for joining me this morning. Thanks to you. Thank you, it's great to have you. So I was just wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about the BioGears project and the research you're doing. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, BioGears um, started from a point of a gap uh, nowadays in the market yeah. uh, concerning bio-based uh, materials or gears for aquaculture. Uh, because uh, we realized that uh, if agriculture needs to uh, grow to 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 fill up uh, the, the the seafood demand uh, currently in Europe, we need to uh, produce more ropes, which are uh, nowadays made of a uh, 100% uh, petrol-based plastics. So uh, an increase in this sector, which uh, will uh, will uh, somehow uh, um, take the use of more plastic in the sea, which is uh, all of us know that uh, have negative impacts on the on the ecosystems and uh, and, and the seabeds uh, in general. So uh, our aim is to fill this gap with bio-based ropes. Yeah. And, uh, and to implement these ropes in uh, mussel and seaweed uh, aquaculture. Ah, OK, so and I think it's, it's so important as the, the industry grows that it grows sustainably and, and that we're not damaging the environment. Yes, this is yeah. really scope because yeah. uh, when we, we understand and uh, all the, our uh, strategies, current uh, framework of European strategies uh, are uh, leading to a more sustainable uh, food systems and uh, productions, also uh, in terms of uh, uh, products consumed uh, and, 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 uh, and track consumers to a more uh, uh, responsible consume and uh, also for more sustainable and healthy products. So in, in this frame, we, 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 we base the, the need of uh, biogears in the agriculture mm -hmm. sectors. Nowadays. Yeah. Brilliant. And and you're focusing on mussels and then seaweed. Yes. Yeah. Because um, for the European Commission, one of the one of the sectors uh, that have uh, this uh, opportunity uh, to grow are the sectors uh, located in the offshore. So, uh, um, regarding the, the uh, carbon neutrality and uh, uh, sustainability of the agriculture, uh, uh, they are leading also the, the cultivation of lower tropic uh, organisms, which can yeah. be like uh, uh, mussels that are filtrators, and also seaweed that. Uh, uh, that can again uh, be culture uh, uh, together with mussels in co-cultivation in uh, IMCA systems, which are uh, in concept more sustainable uh, productions for agriculture. So this is uh, uh, our scope also to, to yeah. create and implement IMCA uh, productions throughout Europe using our biogears, which make all this uh, more sustainable again. Yeah, which is fantastic. And I guess because like, it's for the research is can be used by people all over Europe. So it's of interest to people mm -hmm. in the aquaculture community here in Ireland as well. So that's it's great to hear. Um, yeah. And can I ask you, um, what, what stage of development is the research at? Uh, the point of development uh, nowadays yeah. Yeah, we have already produced the bio-based ropes. It has been a long process from the selection of the materials <laughs> adequate uh, to be bio-based and biodegradable, but we need them to be biodegradable in land, not in the sea, 
because uh, otherwise we will be contributing to the marine litter generation, which all we know is uh, also negative for the marine ecosystem and uh, organisms living there. So we have, uh, uh, as I told, it was a long uh, process to select the materials and uh, to, uh, to have them processed first into yarns, then into ropes. And uh, yeah, it took us like uh, one year. Yeah, it was COVID uh, in the middle, but uh, it, <laughs> it took us uh, and quite a long time to to create uh, ropes that are ad adequate uh, functionally and also durable uh, in the sea environments. Yeah, especially in the offshore, which are high energy environments that uh, can uh, uh, produce uh, uh, can uh, damage the ropes. Yeah, I know the, the ropes really have to be durable, so that's it's so yeah. important. Yeah. yeah, this was one of our targets. Mm -hmm. So we uh, we we produce uh, ropes uh, with a threshold uh, similar to to the conventional ropes made of plastics in terms of tensile break and uh, yeah. the, um, hope to be uh, durable. Yeah, and, and that was my next question: is was how do the ropes compare to what? How do the bio-based ropes compare to ropes on the market today? Yeah, this is uh, actually uh, one thing we are uh, investigating now. We have uh, uh, several uh, seed tests ongoing, and we are going to compare the uh, agriculture performance of these ropes mm -hmm. in uh, shelter areas, which are low energy considered and high energy uh, uh, areas in uh, in offshore. We have ASTI as uh, an experimental site. Uh, uh, it's uh, like uh, through uh, two miles away away from the coastline, and uh, it's uh, it's quite close to the coastline. Although it's a really high energy area, yeah. So we are going to compare the. Um, uh, durability and functionality in culture uh, of these ropes in mass yeah. of watering uh, in these uh, different energy areas. Fantastic. So you've a, a busy few months ahead now working on that. Yeah, we have started uh, in uh, July and we are going to proceed the seed test until July next year, although yeah. we are going to run parallel uh, tests also to, to see the uh, if these bio-based ropes, especially for mussels, can be uh, uh, can be adequate as uh, as part collectors. So we will have this um, this functionality in terms of uh, on growing of mussels, you know, also for a spot collection. Yeah, and with this test we we aim to assess the the technical uh, feasibility of the of the ropes in culture, also economic uh, assessment of the productions and environmental. I hear you. So there's a lot of a lot of testing going on in the next over the next. Yeah, year. we have quite a lot of work next year yeah. to, to do. Yeah, <laughs> it'll keep you busy if nothing else. <laughs> yeah. And and Larry, can I ask? Um, finally, if, if someone wanted to find out more about BioGears and the solutions you're working on and um, where can they find out more? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, anyone can uh, can consult our uh, web, uh, website. Yeah, uh, yeah it's uh, biogears.eu and mm -hmm. uh, we are also in LinkedIn and uh, Twitter and of course uh, you have uh, we have uh, an Irish partner in the consortium uh, yeah, we have Erin on board, which are really good partners and uh, any Irish uh, company or stakeholder uh, um, interested in engaging the project can uh, yeah. can uh, can uh, contact Jane directly, Jane Meyer, uh, uh, myself or uh, just uh, to access to access to the to the website. Of course, we are really 
uh, we are really open to any any consult or uh, suggestion or engagement uh, from the from the sectors. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that. And what we can do is we'll add all those details to the ITF website. So if anyone wants to find out more, they can go there too. Yeah, fantastic. We are uh, also arranging a visit to, to the Irish uh, uh, community or Irish uh, agriculture industry because we are going to hold the next uh, project meeting in, in Ireland. So uh, we will be happy to connect uh, with any agriculture stakeholder there and uh, let's see if we can try and uh, have an uh, a uh, physical meeting, which is uh, yeah. nowadays it's a good opportunity. Yeah. I, I know it's, it's a rare <laughs> opportunity as well. And can I just ask, when is that meeting due to take place? Uh, we are also uh, defining the, the, the venue of the meeting. Yeah. We are going to conduct in January, February next year, uh, early days of next year, because mm -hmm. uh, we, we also consider Irish uh, sector as one of the sectors for biogas implementation. We have all, uh, already uh, received some uh, contacts from this, uh, especially from seaweed sector interested in implementing biogas. So we will yeah. be really happy to, to get your feedback and uh, contacts uh, and visit you. <laughs> Fantastic. No, and we can get that information up on the website as well. That's brilliant. Um, so, Lara, I just want to say thank you very much for your time this morning. It was great to hear more about the project and the work you're doing as well. Thanks to you and I hope to see you soon. Yeah, hopefully okay. in January or February. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thanks very thank much. you, Sarah. Bye. Bye. Bye.